everybody welcome back to my channel elephant in the room i am going blonde i have started doing it myself which i know before anyone attacks me that it's not good to bleach your own hair and stuff like that i can't afford hairdressers i've started going blonde myself i feel like it's turning out pretty well it's still going to be quite a journey before I'm at like the blonde color that I want and stuff like that so yeah I hope you are all well if you're new hey my name's Mia I do lots of beauty videos here on my channel so today I'm gonna do a first impressions this is gonna be like a no BS review just on a product that has been so hyped on Instagram Facebook pretty much everywhere I'm talking about the quick flick eyeliner I got the biggest one which was grand 12 millimeter now I suck at winged eyeliner obviously the rest of my makeup is done um, I am going to just you know try the eyeliner it's probably gonna be a little hard because I do have massive eyelashes on didn't think of that but we're gonna see how it goes and I'm gonna be 100 you know a thousand percent honest with you guys like hundred and ten percent honest with you guys just because I really struggle with eyeliner and I want to see if this is easy or if it's hard to like know where to put the stamp and stuff like that so if you want to see my thoughts on this product and my first impressions then please stay tuned okay so in the box you get two eyeliners you get one for your left eye and one for your right eye on one side it has the little stamp and on the other side it has like an eyeliner pen so I think I'm going to start off with hmm I'm just trying to think I think I'm gonna start off with the left eye no I'm gonna start off with the right eye actually okay so I'm gonna start with the right eye which is probably left for you guys so I'm like really scared <laughs> Okay, so this is as close as you guys are going to get. I don't have my camera. I just don't know where to put this thing. Like, do I go straight up? I really don't know. I'm so scared. But here we go. Okay, that's pretty precise. I don't know if you guys can see that. So I'm just going to leave it like that. Now we're going to go to the left stamp. And we're going to do this eye. It's just going to be... How do I do it in the same position? Do you know what I mean? I feel like that's totally wrong. Like this one's more up than that one. But. So it is pretty precise. I'm going to use this eyeliner now. Okay, so this is what it looks like done. I feel like it's pretty precise, pretty nice, but this is so big for my eye. Like, it's come like right down here and it just is so big for my eye. So, I wish I didn't get the hugest one. I'm going to try and remove it, which I know is probably going to fuck up my whole entire makeup, but I literally stuffed it. Like, this one's not... The greatest but it is quick you can get a wing out of it obviously the more you use it I guess the better it would get uh, I'm just gonna try and take this off it's gonna totally ruin my eye makeup though I'm just gonna kind of cover this up with some powder Okay, so I'm going to try this side again since I stuffed it up, which was the right eye. And I'm just going to try and hopefully do it. Okay. So the stamp part is pretty precise, I must admit. Okay, everyone, so this is the finished look. So this one here... As you can see, it turned out quite nice. Um, I'm not the greatest at eyeliner, but it turned out pretty good. This one over here turned out okay. Um, I don't know if they're even. You be the judge. I feel like they're not. This one's higher or something. And this one just looks better 
over this one, but I could be wrong. Do I think that this makes eyeliner easier? Yes, I do. But it's not absolutely 100% foolproof. Before somebody says that I'm attacking the company, I'm not. I've spoken to someone from the company on my Instagram and they've offered me like codes to get the smaller ones and they were so sweet. This is my 100% honest opinion. Do I think it's worth the money? Yes, I do. Do I think it makes eyeliner easier? Absolutely. But do I think that it's 100% foolproof? No, I don't. Like once you get the idea of where to, you know, like put the stamp exactly on each one, I think it will definitely be foolproof then after a couple of goes, but not right off the bat. It's not like you can just go donk, donk on each eye and you're done. Um, you do have to kind of still get them even. But yeah, I definitely would try it out. I definitely am going to get the smallest one. So then I have the smallest one and the biggest one. I might get both of them. I don't know. Um, this one I probably will give away or just keep for really dramatic looks because I don't know if you guys can tell, but it is huge on my eye. Like I have ba like barely any lid space, like my eyes are hooded. So yeah, I don't think I'll use this one again. I might give it to a friend or sell it to a friend cheaper or something, but yeah. I hope you guys like this review and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Mm.